Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Dinosaur Escape is a cooperative board game for the youngest of gamers. It has these really cool dinosaur pieces that are going to be on the board, and it's going to have a huge toy factor for the kids. You'll be moving around looking for the hidden dinosaurs. You want to save them before the island is destroyed, of course, and you want to get the dinosaurs off. The game is very simple to teach, and my youngest one, who is five, and maybe not the most verbal or maybe the most interactive when it comes to games, was able to play with us and have a pretty good time. It has a memory aspect to it. Okay, you flip over a token. Okay, my guy isn't there. I got to remember where that's at and then take the correct dinosaur there and then flip over the token. So a little bit of memory, a little bit of moving around the board. It's interesting you can move either way you want, but the dinosaurs are the selling point here. I think this works for the youngest of gamers. If you have somebody new into gaming that's very young, you know, four, five, six, they want to play a cooperative game, they're into dinosaurs, this could definitely be a hit for them. And I think that the game is uh, giving you enough decision with that memory aspect and moving around. It's not going to blow your mind, it's not going to be any novel or new or interesting things in it, but at a very cheap price, you can get a very decent cooperative game with dinosaurs. So it's a keeper for us. Here is Dinosaur Escape the Game. It's a little co cooperative game for kids, and the dinosaurs are included as it states. The box is pretty good. You can see it's very attractive. You're going to get a little insert here that will keep the rules. We'll come back to this in a few minutes. You're going to get a little die that you'll be using to move around. Now, these are really the star of the show, which are the dinosaurs. They're little toy things that you might get like at a Hobby Lobby or a craft store. Super nice for a board game. Your tokens are all going to be good quality. They have ferns on one side and hidden objects on the other side. Now, this is the volcano that you'll be building throughout the game. You're going to be putting this together every single game you play. And this is a really good quality that you're going to have here. And it's going to hold up very, very well. Then you're going to have the board itself, which will come out and be really just a track that you're going to be walking around. It has a different color, so you can easily see those. And it's very attractive for children. This game is going to have a big toy factor. Here are the rules. This is literally print on the insert like it's 1980s Milton Bradley. You can have a picture of all the components up here, and you can lift it out with this little nice thing they have here. The object of the game and some hints. And you have a setup with a nice little picture down here. kind of tells you how things go, and then how to play the game with the game in. And if you want to have a beginner level, you can play there. These rules might take you two, three, four, five minutes to read through. You'll be up and running, and they're very, very clear as you're playing. So to set the game, you're going to shuffle up the ferns and put them out. Each of the locations will have a little circle. The dinosaurs will go on the parts that are marked for circles, or for dinosaurs, and you'll put your little clip here where the volcano will start. On your turn, you're going to move, you're going to roll the die. You can move any of the dinosaurs that number of spaces in any direction. Let's say we want to go here. Then you can turn over a fern in any direction. You take a look at it. If it's not a dinosaur or a T-Rex, you just put it right back down and the next person will go. Let's say you wanted to go here and I'll look at this one and it's a dinosaur tracker. So we will flip it right back over and nothing is there. On the odd chance that you get a dinosaur and if you're not in that location, then it would just get flipped back over. If you are in that location and you have this, then it would go here to the island. If you're able to get all three dinosaurs that you're looking for back to the island, then you are safe. If you happen to flip over a tile, in this case it has the Stegosaurus, and the Stegosaurus is in that location, then they would come off and go to the island, and they are safe. Anytime that you roll the volcano on here, you will have to add one of the volcano spots to this. As continue to rule the volcano, which is luck based of course, you will be adding to the volcano. If you ever put all five on the volcano, then the players will lose the game before they're able to save all three and the island will be destroyed. But if you get all three off the island, then you win. That's a good spot. Who should buy this game? This is for the youngest of gamers. This is for the little guy or girl who's into dinosaurs, that wants to save them off this island before it's destroyed, and they'll go through and be able to do that. It's going to take some memory. It's going to take some rolling and moving as you go through. But I think they're going to really enjoy this experience. Yes, your gamers will eventually grow out of this game, but that's okay. It's okay to have games that are solely focused on their age group. And Dinosaur Escape is a cooperative game that does just that, and I think it's a winning game. Keeper for us.